Scotsman or Truro? The century-long debate of who reached 100 miles per hour first, but there is more to the class Truro was a part of than the legendary run. Designed by George Jackson Churchwood in 1903 and built by Swindon Works, the Great Western Railway City class were two-cylinder, double-framed locomotives for fast expresses between Plymouth or Exeter to London Paddington, building a strong reputation for reliability and speed. Despite them being quick with consistently averaging 75 miles per hour on runs, their old-fashioned motion design made them never thought to be capable of reaching triple-digit speeds. Even though they did look old-fashioned, they did have advanced mechanical parts, such as a tapered domeless boiler and a bell pair firebox, but there was still no reason for why they could go past 100 miles per hour, but that doesn't mean members of the class wouldn't try to do it. The first attempt would happen on the 14th of July 1903, when number 3433, City of Bath, would take a special train from Paddington to Exeter, 193 miles away via Bristol, and would complete it in 172 and a half minutes, with an average speed of 67.1 miles per hour. Although this was nearly 33 miles per hour off the desired target, the railway was still not deterred and wanted to give it another go. The second attempt would happen on the 9th of May 1904, with 3440, City of Truro, being chosen for the task, hauling the Ocean Mail train weighing 148 tonnes on the 127.8 mile stretch between Plymouth and Bristol over the Wellington Bank. On that day, the engine would complete the run in 123.25 minutes, with an average speed of 62.22 miles per hour. This would be classed as a failure, but the locomotive reportedly reached 102 miles per hour going down Wellington Bank, according to Charles Real Martin, the timekeeper on the train that day. The claim would withstand as authentic for many years, but would later be called into question as there was no dynamometer car on the train that day. A dynamometer car is a coach that is used to record an engine's official speed, and was used on record setting or braking runs by railways. The first locomotive to reach 100 miles per hour using a dynamometer car was the Gresley A1 Flying Scotsman on the 30th of November 1934 and still holds the title officially to this day. Despite the class having their title revoked, they would still prove to be reliable engines over the next three decades, being put on ambulance trains during World War I and being renumbered in 1912 from the 3400s to the 3700s, as well as receiving superheaters and top feeds the same year. They would go on to receive further modifications in 1914, when their slide valves were replaced with 8-inch semi-plug piston valves, and in 1921 when they got cast iron chimneys. All members would be given steam reversing gear, but some had it replaced with screw reversing gear over the next few years. The final modification would be 16 receiving a new type of front bogey, used on the Diggelen Atlantics, with only 4 retaining the original Dean suspension bogey until withdrawal. Despite being supposed record holders, the class would be considered too old to continue service, and would be withdrawn between October 1927 and May 1931. Number 3718 in 1927, number 3701, 3704, 3705, and 3710 in 1928, number 3700, 3702, 3703, 3706 through 3709, 3713 through 3716, and 3719 in 1929, number 3711 in 1930, and number 3712 and 3717 in 1931. Number 3717, City of Truro, would be preserved in 1931 after a press campaign convinced the GWR to preserve her and restored to working condition in 1957, where she would reach 84 miles per hour on the same stretch of track she was said to have made history on. After she was once again taken out of service, she was kept in Swindon until being moved again to the National Railway Museum in York on display in 2004. This was when she was put back into service for the final time, at the age of 101, and would stay in operation until 2009 and now sits on static display.